Hello guys, Guy Christian Nine with Let's Play TV Robo. I skipped forward a little bit because um basically I didn't really do much of anything after I got that spoon. But anyways, yeah, speaking of which, in the last episode I got a spoon and um yeah, we couldn't get into the bedroom because we um fucked up and stuff. But anyways, our TV ranking gone from Three Rings! You bastards! <laughs> Oh, oh jeez, now he's gonna start doing this. So yeah, when you start getting closer to TV, Super TV Robo, you're gonna start getting this cutscene quite a bit, too. I don't wanna get your hopes up, but it'll be okay to the super luxurious Super TV Robo. Or, that's what I've heard. Let's see, you've earned that, the girl bots won't be able to leave you alone. What girl bots? Show me the girl bots, I want to see them. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. So yeah, there's a few things I could do real quick. Let's see. Do I have enough money for this real quick? Mm. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Saving that for later. Alright, so let's just go outside for a minute. Now, uh, let's see. The first thing I can do is, um... I do believe I do have a frog ring in my inventory, so I guess I can go ahead and give it to Jenny. And yeah, she's like, oh, aw, look at that picture, it's cute. Hello. Look, Rivet. Hello. Rivet, maybe? You know, I should probably have the wrong suit on when I wear this, but yeah, it's so cute. Her and TV Robo sleeping in the same bed. <laughs> oh gosh, you better not be the girl bots. It's <laughs> really happy to see. Alright, so yeah, I do have a ring, alright. Let's go ahead and give this real quick. Uh, there we are. So how many rings does this put us at? Um, well, she's gonna do her thing first. Mm. Come on, come on, get on with it. Six more. Okay, so that was ring number four that I turned in. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and correct... The first thing I'm gonna do today is correct the mistake that I made yesterday, which was forgetting to open up the bedroom for nighttime exploration. Not to mention that now that I have the frog suit, now I can actually do a few things in the bedroom, so... <laughs> God, this is an oddly sexual intense moment right now in this LP. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Obviously this part isn't new, I don't have enough scrap to get to- I don't even know if the, um... That one thing is unlocked yet for the foyer, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the part where I get to the top of these stairs, so I'll see you then, guys. Jeez, that always takes so long. It's annoying. I can't wait to get that damn warp. But yeah, let's go into this door real quick. And now the first thing that you want to do that I should have done when I got into this bedroom, but I got di distracted by the frog. You can see this little string right here next to this plug outlet. And we're going to get a little cutscene about it too. Oh! It looks like you can use this to climb up. No! <laughs> well, yeah, we'll go ahead and climb this thing up. Like, you honestly don't really know if you can ever climb up stuff. Like, most of the time they do do that cutscene, but some of the other ones are trickier and they don't really tell you. But I'll, I'll explain that when I get to that part. But yeah, once we climb all the way up here, we want to try and get to the door. And in order to do that, it's going to give us a little bit of a hint. Aim for the bell! I don't know why there's a bell here too, it's kind of weird, but... And that goes off for some reason. Um, does it do anything? No, alright, that was pointless. And you want to fall all the way over here, and then step onto this blue thing on the side here. And there we go, we've opened the slips, and now we can enter this room during the night. You open the peephole! <laughs> uh, I just need to put a sex joke in this title and this video would be perfect. Okay, so, uh, really the only thing I do in here is finally deal with that damn frog. I wanna go ahead and get my energy charged up before I do that, because I've already lost a bit. So I'll go do that right now, and then we can do this now. Hearing the noises. Alright, no, I'm not going to save. 
All right, this guy's going. But uh, I hate that thing. You know what? I don't know if I've ever actually described this. Wait, that was the second time. What, what was the first time? Uh, I can't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and explain it just in case I didn't. Basically, sometimes if you try to pull away from the plug too quickly, you'll get a wash pan dropped on you for some reason. It's really stupid. It's annoying. I don't like it. And uh, I forgot to put on the frog suit. There we go. Alright, so now let's try to talk to this unconscious frog with the frog suit on. TV Rover, you're still here? You're still here? <laughs> Swim, swim, Frida. 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 Oh right, big scary thing on the top there. Yeah, screaming probably wasn't helpful right there. Uh, oh my god, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! It's a Lego Tyrannosaurus Rex! That's even worse! They're not bio-organic and stuff! We can't kill them! <laughs> and it's pretty big. And we're dressed as a frog. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing! <laughs> oh my god, look at the frog <laughs> I love this cutscene. <laughs> Goodbye! But you bastard! Come back here and get eaten! That? Hmm. Oh right, we're metal. <laughs> Not about that detail. Yeah, ouch, my teeth! You're made of metal! Um Interesting. Here, let's pick up these nightly, nicely ordered teeth, Dyna teeth. And uh, let's get the frog suit off, just so we can talk to this thing so it doesn't try to eat us again. Hello. Hey, whippersnapper, give me my teeth! Alright, let's oblige. I love this thing, Tom. Rawr! And now, everyone, I would like to introduce you to my favorite character in this entire game. It ain't much to go on, but take it. 52 happy points from Dinah, the Lego Witch Dinosaur. Who's both my favorite character and also has my favorite theme song in the entire game. And it's took you from one of them dang frogs. What do you expect? My eyes aren't are going. And he was. Just all in green. Dinah is essentially the oldest of the toys here. Uh, there's really no explanation why. It's just kind of the oldest one here. So just let you know. And it's definitely part of, I believe, her character. That it is actually a she. <laughs> if the um, soundbite wasn't info enough. And, yeah, we're just like, what happened right there? <laughs> but um, anyways. Yeah, the, the poor frog got knocked over here during the cutscene. <laughs> I feel sorry for this thing. It got nearly killed and then it got trampled over by a gigantic like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But what happened, Rivet? I gotta get back to Frida with this, on the double, Rivet. Will you take me to the backyard, Rivet? Yeah, sure, why not? Really? Truly? Rivet! I'm counting on you, Rivet. And... We shove a live creature into our body. <laughs> have to wonder how... You have to wonder how that works if it doesn't even kill that frog. But anyways, since I don't want to go down to the backyard yet because I don't really have the item to get up here quickly enough, I'm going to start doing some of the business in the bedroom. Starting by interacting with Dinah again. Oh! TV Robo! Just look at that, will ya? Hmm. Ma Sanderson's trapped him in there and he hasn't had any food or water for three days. No, he's been neglected as criminal. He ain't no two ways about it. There ain't no two ways about it. Look at how young and strong he is. 
Who? I don't even see any. He's the picture of gallantry. Oh, there he is. If only I could open them blinds. Hey, none, but we shall think though. If I were prone to melodrama, I might say something, a phrase it like this. Da 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 da! <laughs> the old dino can't open the blinds. Will Funky Phil never know freedom again? Yeah, I reckon that's what I'd say. Pretty sad, ain't it? If only somebody could open him for him. I'm gonna go ahead and warn some of you people right now. Dinah has some of the most long and drawn out cutscenes in this game, which is great for me because I love her, but... <laughs> but anyways, to start off the whole uh, bedroom toy scenes and stuff like that, we're gonna be helping out yet another new toy, Funky Phil. Another one of my favorite characters. Come on, baby! Come on, girl, don't be like that. Come on over here. Please, I'm on my funky knees here. Okay, I don't have these, but... <laughs> Give me some funky fresh love, or... I'll never get my funky stuff out of here. Work with me, just a little bit. Huh? Now oh, he finally knows his us. Hey, Funky Robo! Hey, I like that name. Whoa, my corny friend here isn't showing me any love. He's left me in a very unfunkular mind. <laughs> Could you open this Funky Robo? Um, sure, I guess. Word? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Wait a minute, I'll give you a little push. You catch it and save me! And now, all we simply have to do is... Climb. And you get this nice little screenshot too, I kinda like this. And it's working! Almost though. So just keep going all the way to the top. And we saved Funky Phil! You the robot! I paused a little bit there, and I like dined at the corner there. Yay, money! I always like to move That crazy Mrs. Sanderson! She just has to shut the blinds. It's not like anyone's peeking in her window. Now I'll be able to kick my funk to high gear and practice my moves. Oh yeah, funky robot. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start interacting with Sir Funky of the... Uh, <laughs> I almost said Robo. Yeehaw! Funky Robo! As a reward, you get to check out my moves. Howdy, Funky! And Dinah's here. Oh, wait, how did she get up here? Long time no see! Let me tell you, this old guy wanted to open the blinds for you, but... As any fool can see... These tiny arms of mine aren't fit to stir a pot of chili. How did you get up here, though? He impels started me out of my skin, Chibi Robo. You handle them blinds like a pro. <laughs> Thanks. Dinah is also very good at giving heart happy points, but very piss poor at giving moolah. Still. Happy points is happy points. Now listen up here, Funky Phil. What do you see? Shuck off some of that dust and show me some boot scooting. How about it? For a whole time's sake. Well, um... Well, um... Um, ain't no kind of answer. You been skipping meals again, partner? That need to be manly. Manly, you hear? How are you gonna find yourself a little missus if you ain't got no spunk? If worse comes to worse, I know a certain dinosaur who'd, be, who'd bite the bullet and 
very yeah. <laughs> oh, stop, Will, you dang fool. Golden, you dang fool. I'm just pulling your leg, or it's that. It's a joke. J O um, K E. Being stuck inside all this time has made you fun crazy. How are you gonna get ahead in life if you ain't got a sense of humor? Come on, let's get a move on. Hold everything. But we are already holding. I got a riddle for you. Do you know what kind of race a T-Rex can never win? The answer is right in front of you. An arms race! <laughs> got it? Arms race! It's a little joke, a gag, it's a little like my arms. I got a million of them, fellas. <laughs> hey, I ain't done yet! <laughs> Even the game thinks she's going on a little bit long. All night, Punky. It's daytime. Somebody get treated to this little dance here. It's just like I'm, it's just like I remember Funky Billy. Funky. If I was ten years younger, that <laughs> by boy be much sure. Ain't no two ways about it. Right, TV Robo? Um, sure. If you'll shut up. <laughs> Dang tootin. Darn tootin. What am I saying? You're better than you look, partner. Oh, and something fell off. What, in Tarnation? Funk, the Funky Phil! Something... Something fell off ya! It's a darn gold seed. Well, why am I blushing? It's only a seed. Snap out of it, Dinah. Go get that seed and see what it is. So, what is this mystery scene that's fallen off Monkey Phil? Well, I'll save it for next time! <laughs> Cliffhanger suck, yes I know, but yeah. See you next time, guys.